Hey tribe, hey, welcome back to my channel, Presence of a Goddess. Thank you guys for joining me today. Today is just a soulful Sunday message for the tribe. So if it resonates, awesome. I appreciate if you subscribe, like, share those who you think it resonate too. I do appreciate you. Any other information you need to know is down below. I see you nothing but my love, peace, and my blessings. Okay. Alright, tribe. So let's get into it. Okay, if you hear any noise, excuse it. So let's get into it. What I'm channeling is like somebody could be like, Oh, you're so pretty. And so I'm getting like it could be a child or a elder. It's like somebody with a, it's like a distinct age. Okay, this is definitely an angel in disguise reminding you of your beauty or reminding you of I don't know, something like that. Or, you, or you're attracting a lot of children or a lot of elders. They're attracted to your energy because your vibration has heightened to an angelic vibration okay i'm also getting like somebody could be trying to call you up and gossip with you you probably turned off by that okay somebody could be seeing you acting brand new but i really feel like you're in this stage where you're just like i'm not resonating with what i used to do okay so you could be kind of confused right now and you could be questioning yourself like am i changing for the good or for the bad but just embrace the change spirit says whatever this may be because it's for your higher good okay even though other people may be questioning this because they're not used to this you that you're becoming but you will adjust to it pray through it flow with it okay i mean we're not we're here to evolve we're not here to stay in a stuck energy you know what i'm saying so i don't know somebody could definitely be a scorpio watching this here i'm also getting like there could be energies where like you're realizing how potent your manifestations are it's like you think of something and it happens i feel like you have unlocked something in you you tapped into your abundance your inner abundant energy and i feel like it's been on hold because other people have been draining you from this abundant energy and spirit had to put that on hold for you because you were giving your energy to the wrong people and they were being abundant becoming abundant off your energy and spirit was like i'm just gonna cut it all off so spirit had to cut that all off until you learn how to discipline yourself from um giving your energy just just anybody so i really feel like something was saved up in the universe and now it's all being released to you and it's like consistent abundance because this consistent money flow consistent everything it's like when you manifest something or you like spirit i want this they're going to give it to you because it's owed to you all right you were always abundant of energy but it's like spirit had to put this on hold because these people around you these situations they did not deserve the abundance that you are worthy of that you have in you okay it's something in you that is very powerful like i said you are raising your vibration to an angelic level to whatever you wish is to your command it's like there's a genie you have an like a, a angel with you a spirit guy with you but i feel like this is an ascended master with you who is giving you whatever you desire but i'm also getting you healed your lineage you healed your ancestral lineage to the point where they're abundant in the spiritual realm that they can give you this because people don't know when you break generational curses it's not just breaking those it's also healing your lineage when you heal yourself you're healing the wounds caused by generations and generations and generations and so because what you went through you wasn't the first one or it's not even because of you it could have been because somebody else and then you know what i'm saying so you broke that and you're being rewarded for that and now your ancestors can come back abundant and rich like you're leaving a legacy for your ancestors when you leave they come in and they will take over it's like um your, when your kids your kids want to have your ancestors and so forth and so forth like their kids and their kids so i do feel like you're unlocking something you have unlocked your abundant energy here yeah you're going through an upgrade right now okay yeah i still smell your scent you have a lot of people who still smell you or they still feel your energy because your energy is potent you could definitely be a scorpio watching this and it's like when you left them or you cut the cord with them they can feel you gone and it leaves an emptiness an emptiness in them okay that's their karma maybe these people hurt you okay even if they didn't hurt you maybe you just you was told to just leave certain people alone because they were not in alignment with you they miss you they're like, okay they could be telling you they miss you like for some people they took your energy for granted it was like oh they not going nowhere <laughs> and it's like you went somewhere 
okay? And it wasn't with them. And now they're realizing, like, you know what I'm saying? Because I really feel like you boosted a lot of people up. You inspired a lot of people who didn't deserve your love and your energy. And I feel like it got to their head because they're solo vibrational or they were egotistical. They didn't know how to love so or didn't know how to love you. They didn't know how to handle your love. So, you know, they were treating you like they were treating anybody else. And it's giving me like they had to, you had to remove yourself. And now they're starting to see like, dang, it really wasn't me. It was... It was Tribe who was encouraging me. Now they don't have nobody encouraging them. They don't have nobody uplifting them. They don't have that positive vibration around them. They have people that's like them. All they see is mirrors. People that just like them. And they don't like what they see. And they don't like who they're around. They don't have nobody to uplift them. Okay. I'm also getting like, um, you are about to be very like abundant. You're going through an upgrade. Like in all aspects of your life. All right, because you already, it's like spirit has you work on your spiritual so that you can learn how to tap into the, the you know, the abundance here. Because, you know, you have those people here who all they see is money. It's like very money, money, money. And you see them lose it too. Or they're so slave to their money, they'll do anything for money. You see those people and they look miserable, right? You, you're you gonna be at a vibration where you're smiling and you have money and you have whatever you need. I feel like some of you guys are gonna be minimalist though. I really feel that way. Cause like, I don't think you are really that, like you're not materialistic for some of you guys. Some of you guys, you could be a tourist and you're gonna be like, I'm flying. <laughs> Cause I earned this, okay? I got it out the mud, okay? I work hard, okay? This did not happen overnight, okay? You really took the long way. You took the long way home, okay? People, they taking shortcuts and you can see that in people work. You took the long way home. You put the hard work in and it's going to show in your work. Whether it's your business, your finances, your spirituality, your purpose, whatever this is to you. And I feel like a lot of people are going to be inspired by that because they see how you was there and now you up here. You know what I'm saying? So I do feel like that's where you, you're going to be definitely God's testimony. And I really feel like your ancestors, you're like ancestors' wildest dreams. Like they're so proud of you and they're saying like, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I really feel like, you know how we as always tell y'all like your ancestors want their flowers. No, your ancestors are about to give you all your flowers <laughs> because they like so proud of you. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like they, they really, I was watching Finding Nemo yesterday with my children, uh, with my boys. I feel weird saying children. I always say my boys, but I guess I'm going to have more children. So I don't know. <laughs> so I was watching Finding Nemo with my boys and it was like an epiphany because you know how he was finding Nemo. He was afraid that, you know, he was going to get lost. He was going to get hurt. But when he finally got him back, he had to learn, you know, he learned really through the sea turtle that like, you got to let him, let him go. And he was like, well, how would you know that they ready? And he's like, you, you don't know. You only know when they know. <laughs> And that's how it really is. Like, spirit game is letting you go because they know you know you're ready. You probably told them you're ready and they're going to trust that you're ready. And they, you've been showing them, though. And Nemo showed us that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you showing your ancestors, you showed them, like, I'm ready, I'm mature now, and I'm ready to go to the next level. And spirit is taking you to the next level. And this level is the upgrade. This is the next level. Okay. So it's like spirit is so proud of you. Like you graduated to the next level. And this next level ain't gonna be hard. It's half as hard as your last level. Cause spirit like I bet you won't do that shit again. <laughs> if you do, you know what to do. But you know stay prayed up. Stay stay connected to your ancestors. They the one who's giving you this your spirit game. And I just burped, so I'm going to leave it like that. All right, love you guys.